You always see a woman's flaws the second time you see her. When you first see the woman the first time you meet her and she give you her number, she seem almost flawless. All you see is her best qualities. But the second time you see her, unfortunately, you started noticing flaws. That she knock needed. She got acne. That her face is disproportioned. That uh, she got an attitude problem or she's passive aggressive. She might be controlling. You started seeing all these things after a while. You know, second time you see her, depending on how sharp you guy, you know, the guy is or the power of awareness that he had, you started seeing things like flaws. And nobody is perfect. But a lot of times we can't ignore certain stuff. Now, in this world, you can't even, at this point in life, you can't even look for perfection. You can call it settling, settling for less if you want. But even the best is not the best nowadays. Even if somebody seem, even if somebody seem like they perfect, even if somebody seem like they have you in their best interest, or whatever the case is, they may think they perfect. You may think they perfect at that moment, but they have flaws. Unfortunately, they have flaws. Man, people have all kinds of flaws. Now, but if you want to be with somebody, it's, it's always something. And the people with the obvious flaws are the people that you can deal with. The people that don't have, that seem like they extra perfect, those are the people that have probably some serious major flaws that you're not aware of. Those are the people that have some serious flaws that you may not be aware of. But there's always something you're going to deal with. There's always something you're going to deal with that you got to deal with. You know, when you're dealing with, I'm speaking from a man's point of view, but this deals with, this goes for people in general. Now you don't want to take, you don't want to deal with no heartless person or evil person or some somebody that's that's going to put you in a fatal situation. But it's going to be flawed. Somebody going to be a. They either going to be thinking they they. It's going to be in a thought process. It could be their ways, their habits. They could smoke cigarettes. They can drink too much. Eat too much sweets or, you know what I'm saying? If you care about a person, you don't want them doing stuff that's going to cause them to hurt themselves. But I'm telling you, when, when you're dealing with somebody, it's going to be something you have to tolerate. They might be gorgeous, everything. Their breaths might smell like the land down under. It might be something you can fix. It might be something you can't fix. But you're going to have to deal with something. If it's not that they can't. If it's not that they can't be told nothing. And they got to have the last word. Or they, they never can be wrong. or It's going to be something. Take my word. It's going to be something. That you have to deal with. In this world, it's going to be something. When you're dealing with the opposite sex, when you're dealing with women, you're dealing with, I'm telling you, it's going to be something you got to deal with. So if you don't want to be alone all your life, you don't want to be at an old folks' home and eating ginger snaps, you're going to have to understand that ain't nobody perfect. And people are actually worse than what they was in, in history. You know, maybe they better in some ways, but I think they worse 
I think we are at our worst point right now in history as a people, as a human race. It's, it's been prophesied. It's been biblicalized, biblicalized. So I just think that if you can find somebody that that can make you comfortable, that's gonna you feel like gonna be down for you, that you can tell deep inside they care for you or appreciate you or they appreciate your time and then deal with them. Because if you're looking for a perfect person like some of us been doing for years and some people do, while you're looking for a perfect person, you steady you steady going downhill yourself. A lot of women looking for perfect guys. And who they think is perfect, not perfect, but even if they met a perfect guy, he wouldn't want them. Because perfect wants perfect. And, uh, you know, this society has already tricked a lot of men that tricked a lot of men into thinking that they're not worth nothing. Even if they're better than a woman, he got to treat her like she's better, no matter if she's a prostitute or no matter if she's stubborn, passive aggressive, no matter if she's uh, using him for his money or she's for the streets. No matter if she's having sex with her, his best friend, his brother, his father, or in or some professional athlete, he have to treat her like gold. It's always his fault if she cheat, if she if she do scandalous stuff. It's always his fault. It's been perfect guys that's been totally ran over, been totally unappreciated. Is it his? Is it their fault? It's not all women. This is a large amount, though. This don't pertain to all women. But these guys got to understand that if you want a girl, some of you guys already know. She ain't going to be perfect. She either going to smoke cigarettes, going to either have a kid. Unless you get her while she's young and innocent, and nowadays they lose, women lose their innocence very fast. Nowadays, women lose their innocence very fast. You can talk a lot of sense you want to a woman. It don't mean she gonna like you. It don't mean she gonna appreciate you. You can talk your tongue out your mouth and a woman will still leave you or play victim. She'll play victim in the name of the Lord. This is not all women. This is just a lot of women. A woman will play victim in the name of the Lord. Once she got in her mind that she's in victim mode, she know how to twist. She will twist. All your actions into wrongdoings. That's just how a lot of most women do. A lot of women, most women, whatever you want to call. But if you can find a woman that you can work with that allows you to have room for error and you got to let her have room for error. If she don't make a lot of errors, she's going to be flawed. A lot of people don't make a lot of errors, but they might be flawed. They might have some kind of something. They may not look as good, as good as you want them to look. You know, their past may not be as clean as you want it to be. We live in a world where everybody is flawed. What, uh, either you, even if you can't see it. Some people you can see it. Some people you can't see it. The people that you can't see, they got the biggest flaws. I repeat, the people that you can't see, they got the biggest flaws. The people, 
the people flaws that you can't see. I'm Alan Williams, the real there. Hit the like, subscribe, hit the bell, check out the next video. Remember, I love you, but Jesus love you more. Real Nation, we out.